Well, I think the uh, macro environment is affecting the hedge fund industry in a number of ways currently, and right now in an unprecedented way that we've not seen before, uh, from economic factors to political to regulatory to, to new technology. Uh, earlier in the year, we saw an increased uh, volatility of markets, which was good for some fund managers, not so good for others. But on the whole, I think increased volatility is good because it means that uh, new investment managers can come to the market and explore possible inve uh, investment strategies that, that weren't explored before. On the political side, we've of course got a potential trade war between uh, America and China, and Europe is very much in the crossfire of that. Uh, we've also got a president who tweets at any time of the, the, the night or day, and investment managers have got, ready to, got to be ready to, uh, to deal with that. Uh, so in terms of macroeconomic factors that are affecting the, the industry, it ranges everything at the same time at the moment, political, economic, technology and regulation. I think the hedge fund industry at the moment has a number of uh, disruptive factors, but if we were to pick the number one, it's got to be the massive changes in regulation uh, that we've recently experienced. So over the last few years, the industry has had to adapt wholesale for MIFID II, and there's been a number of factors that have therefore impacted the ability for those managers to, uh, to go about their normal business of investment. We've seen, I think, uh, very contracted time frames for implementation of MIFID II. That's just, not just the time between when the regulation came out and when it had to be live by, even with a year's delay, but also because there were wave after wave of interpretation and reinterpretation of those regulations, which meant that investment managers have had quite a difficult time in, in ensuring that their platforms are operating the way that the regulators want them to and trying to understand what the regulation uh, actually means and how it should be put into practice. Uh, I think in addition, other disruptive factors we're seeing is uh, from a technology perspective, we're seeing cryptocurrencies have had a lot of hype over recent uh, months and investment managers have to decide how and, and how they fit into their portfolios and what purpose they have. Uh, we've also seen the underlying technology, distributed le ledger technology, cropping up in areas such as um, improved settlement processes and, and reducing the length of time for, for settlement to take place. Uh, other factors, of course, in terms of um, disruption to the market include uh, political factors, uh, but also uh, the question of cyber security. As investment managers move from uh, having their data all stored on site and moving it to the cloud, whether that's public or private uh, cloud. And we heard from uh, Lord Evans earlier today, uh, ex-head of MI5, about the impacts that that's having globally ar around the world. And that affects this industry as well. So a number of factors disrupting the industry at the moment that are increasing the costs of running in the industry. Those range from economic, political, uh, new technologies, and of course, uh, the question of cyber security. Following our panel discussion earlier, the question of course is how are uh, hedge fund managers dealing with uh, macroeconomic uh, uh, factors and also disruptive uh, elements to the, the industry at the moment. And I think uh, what came out of that was that a key element for uh, managers is to have a, um, a flexible platform in place that can be adapted as new regulations come out and as the business needs to change going forward. And we talked about on that panel a number of ways that can happen, whether you develop that in-house and have a team to support that, or whether you use vendors that you know are a good fit to your type of business. Um, a, a further factor I think that, um, that the investment management industry are looking at is removal of any manual processes. Uh, we found that a lot were introduced following MIFID II in the compressed timeframes to deal with um, some of the more esoteric asset classes. So we're seeing those being removed and of course any manual process introduces risk. Um, and then finally, I think the, um, a key element for investment managers is um, fostering that relationship with the, the front office so that they um, uh, get the balance right between the front office participating in uh, technology and operational decisions, but not uh, becoming overbearing and making the project too, too, uh, uh, too difficult to implement. So it's about getting that balance right between front office engagement and, and project uh, running smoothly. Well, in terms of how the hedge funds are, are measured in terms of performance, I think we've seen a big change uh, in that over the last 10 years. Um, if you track back a few years, absolute return was everything, uh, and everyone was looking at Alpha, and, and, and it was all about how much money was being made with a set amount of investment. I think that the market has now become more transparent and more open and more sophisticated, and that allows the end money managers to look at hedge funds and say, well, what sort of risk are you engaging with? Uh, and how does that fit into my broader portfolio? So it's no longer just about an absolute return, it's about the 
uh, particular uh, strategy that that fund is taking and how well that fits into the risk that with which that uh, pension fund is trying to engage.